Reaching the new all-time intraday high today while well, it continues to outperform stocks, but had you been watching the trend over the past five years, you would have noticed it was happening right before your eyes. Okay, what I want to show you is the gold line is gold, duh. And then the blue line is the S&P. <laughs> we try and make it easy here at Fox Business. Gold outperforming the S&P by a long shot. And a guy who's been appearing on Fox Business since the week we launched told you it would. But how long does his call last and what other commodities is he buying now? Peter Schiff, president and chief global st strategist of Euro Pacific Capital. I brought for you my little Kruger and here. Well, good. The Kruger and. That's real money. One ounce. Yeah, this is real money, isn't it? It's too bad they don't pay you in that in Fox. <laughs> well, but let me tell you something. It's unlike the greenback, which you say is not real yeah. money right now, and that's really at the heart of what's going on with the gold trade. Well, absolutely. First of all, you're looking at your chart. I was buying gold 10 years ago. I bought more five years ago. I'm still buying it. I haven't sold an ounce. And, you know, what the government is doing to try to artificially prop up home prices is destroying the dollar because in order to do that they have to keep interest rates artificially low they have to run the printing presses full throttle and they're debasing our money people are running from the dollar and they're fleeing to the safety of gold you just said propping up the housing market now everybody comes on and says they're printing too much money the stimulus etc but darn if we didn't get existing home prices uh, home existing home sales rather up 10.1 percent because of that rush to think that the first time home buyers credit was going to expire you think that's all fake and that that's sure. what's pushing gold? remember why are people buying homes they're doing it because they can do it with practically no down payment you know 96 percent of all the mortgages now being originated are insured by the u.s. government no private entity would lend this money because nobody could pay it back home prices are too high they're out of reach for americans to afford them but if the government lets home prices come back down to where they need to be, it'll bankrupt all the financial institutions that they bailed out. Here's what I worry about. It's become such a crowded trade. Today, Stuart Varney had the story about how there are, uh, what do they call them, uh, the fake ones. They've got these <laughs> counterfeit gold pieces that are out there right now. And then you see the infomercials. If you send in your old caca engagement rings that, you know, you got a divorce and melt it yeah. down. You, you have the average slower money really You know, it's not this. a crowded trade. I still feel very lonely, you know, when I go places and nobody else owns gold but me. I mean, sure, you, there are some commercials now for gold because it's done so well, but all these commercials about convincing people to sell their gold, cash for gold, that's the opposite. That's people selling gold, not buying it. They're actually turning in gold for paper when they should be turning in their paper for gold. Okay, so how long does the trade last? A long time, Liz. I think, you know... At least probably another five or ten years, maybe more. I don't know what it's going to take for the government to come to its senses. And I'm trying to go there myself. I'm running for the United States Senate. How's that going? Well, I'm coming along. You know, I'm out of last place, so I'm, I'm, I'm gaining. Yeah. We're grateful for small things. What other commodities are you buying? I mean, you've always talked about gold, but what else is out there? Well, you've got to buy silver. I mean, and if, you, if you're bullish on gold, you've got to be bullish on silver. And silver hasn't even made a new high from 2008 yet. And, of course, the 1980 high in silver was $50. We're still about 18 and change. So I like silver. I like all the other industrial metals like copper. But I also like agricultural commodities. We buy a lot of those and companies that are involved in agriculture. Right. And you've got to like energy. You've got to like oil. I think once oil clears this $80 level, I think it's right through to 100 and higher. It could do it by the end of the year, but certainly uh, by early next year. Peter, you are a UC Berkeley graduate, as am I. So I will put on... <laughs> The Cal hat, because In we gold? beat Stanford. He didn't even know. He's a Cal grad. You didn't even you have to tell him. You have to, you have to wrap I me have out. I to tell him. I can't believe that. Don't you have any school pride? See, well, look, they got gold there in the insignia. <laughs> they got gold in the insignia. There you go. All right. Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific Capital. Thank you very much. All right. Now the hair people are going to be upset. You got a gold jacket on. That's why. For you.